Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Are you looking for a budget laptop computer? How does $200 sound? HP Notebook 14 inch Windows 10 laptop computer, $200. Email, web browsing, image editing, social media, watching videos such as this, document creation, light gaming. For $200, this is a heck of a deal. Now let me be clear, this is a budget machine, don't expect the world, but for $200 you get a full Windows 10 computer, 14 inch screen, 1080p full HD display, it's actually really nice considering where it's at in the price. Now I'll talk about the technical specifications in a minute, but they're actually not important at the moment. The list I just mentioned, if you have modest expectations, it will do just fine. Now in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing. I'll take it out, I'll show you what it looks like, I'll talk about its various features, what it comes with, what it doesn't. In upcoming videos, I will be doing a first boot Windows update. I'll show you the setup of it. Then I'll do Windows Performance Review where I show you how well it plays videos, opens web, browser, web browsers and does that sort of thing. And then I will do light gaming on it. I'll show you how it does things like Minecraft, League of Legends, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This computer is not meant for heavy duty gaming. So if you're thinking of playing Battlefield and Call of Duty, this is not the computer for that. There are other machines that will play those games. But for light casual gaming, it will do just fine. Under four pounds, easy to travel with, relatively small size, and most importantly, a removable battery. Very few laptops these days still include a removable battery. So if you're looking for something to travel with, you can take several batteries with you if you want, and then basically you have as much battery power as you have extra batteries. That's kind of cool. Now, before I do the unboxing, let me just run down the list of hardware specifications. This comes with an AMD quad-core, four-core processor running at 1.8 gigahertz. It is a low-power entry-level chip, so don't expect it to be a high performer, but it's good enough for the items that I mentioned. This computer does come with four gigabytes of system RAM. For many people, that will be plenty. I think most people should buy this and use it as it comes out of the box with no changes. It can be upgraded to eight, and I may do a video showing that, but I think that most people will be fine with the four that it comes with. Storage, there's no hard drive in here, and that's actually a good thing. 32 gigabytes of flash memory storage. Fast boot, fast restart time, fast program load time. Now it does mean you're limited on how many programs you can install and what you can save on here, but for what you're going to use a $200 computer for, it should be fine for most people. Please note that for about $15, you can add 64 gigabytes of storage to this easily enough. I'll talk about that later in the video. So quick, quick boot, quick shutdown, quick restart time, that's definitely a feature. I mentioned before it has a 14 inch screen, 1080p full HD, that's very nice. It does come with both wired and wireless access to a network such as the internet, um, AC Wi-Fi. So if you are at home, school or work, if you're traveling, you're in coffee shops or airports, it has got the latest and greatest wireless access so that you can connect to hotspots and get online. But most Budget laptops do not include wired Ethernet these days, and this one does. So if you have an RJ45 networking cable, you can plug it in and get connected to a wired network. It also has several USB ports, including one 3.0 port and both HDMI and VGA out ports. Very few laptops these days come with a VGA out port. That's really nice to have. So those are the hardware specifications. Let's take a look at the laptop, shall we? There's some pamphlets and paperwork. There we go. What else is in here? Oh, there's the power cord. Here we go. Standard basic power brick. This is not too large, I like it. It's also not very heavy. In fact, the cord weighs more than the power brick. So if you're concerned about a big bulky power brick, that is not big or bulky. That will travel really nicely, which is important for a laptop that is this small. Now, unfortunately, the power brick does require a separate power cord. I don't know what these weigh, but yeah, more than I wish they did. There is a quick setup instructions guide, which I'm sure folds out. Yep, basically, this just explains what all the various parts are on the computer. I'll set that over there. <laughs> Love your new PC, write a review on Amazon. There you go. 
Here is the, oh, this is nice. I didn't know it came with this. This is a OneDrive certificate to give you 100 gigabytes of Microsoft OneDrive space for two years. That's actually really cool. I wasn't aware this came with it. So if you want cloud-based storage, OneDrive, I believe OneDrive gives you somewhere, it's 10 or 15 gigabytes for free. It might even be less these days. They keep changing how much they give you for free. This gives you an extra 100 gigabytes of OneDrive space for two years. That's nice. Uh, worldwide telephone tech support. One of the benefits of buying an HP, now there are other brands, but HP is a worldwide company with worldwide support. And here is the full list of technical support all over the planet from, let's see here, um, Antigua, Argentina, Australia, all the way down to Vietnam and Yemen. So you've got support basically everywhere in the world if you need it when you're traveling. Here is the worldwide limited warranty and tech support pamphlet. And this comes with, I believe, a one year warranty. Yes, it does. One year parts and labor warranty. It is packed in foam and then wrapped in plastic. I'll take these and set these over here. There we go. And we'll take this out of the plastic. This is very lightweight. I've, I've owned and reviewed a number of laptops. Many laptops are in the five to seven pound range these days. The fact that this is under four pounds, that is very lightweight. That's hard to complain about. That's very nice. Now the top, now this is all plastic. It may look like metal, I assure you, every single bit of this laptop is plastic. A Little bit of light reflection there. Keep in mind that when you see the light reflection, I do have very bright lights that are shining on it, which is why you'll see some reflection. Uh, the bottom is plastic. There are rubber grips on the bottom. There's a fairly large rubber grip right here, one here, and then a whole strip here, so that when it's sitting on a desk, it doesn't move. My desk surface here is fairly slick. This is a smooth surface. And when I push against the laptop, yes, I can force it to move, but it's got a good grip. So it'll stay where you put it. That's very nice. I mentioned the removable battery. It's worth showing. So few laptops have removable batteries. This is nice. Take a look at that. That's how easy it is to take out the battery. Not very large, but it's a low power laptop, so this should last for many hours. You can buy more of these, so if you're traveling and you want to have all day battery life guaranteed, buy a couple extra batteries, and then it just snaps right into place. So the battery's removable. Let me open this up. There we go. They do provide some protective uh, foam here to protect the keyboard. There is a trackpad on, here's something I can't do with most laptops. Usually I've got to hold it with two hands. I'm holding it on the corner with a couple of fingers and it's no big deal. Uh, palm rest for your hands. Two physical buttons, I like this. The trackpad actually has real buttons. Too many laptops these days have simulated buttons where they just reserve a region of the touchpad uh, and you just sort of, it's a haptic feedback, you just touch it and it's kind of there and it's too easy to accidentally press the button when you didn't mean to press the button. Real, real mouse buttons. Nice. Um, then you have an indentation running around where the trackpad is so you don't miss it. Keys. It's a basic cheap keyboard. Don't expect the world. In terms of, let me turn this around this way. It's a serviceable keyboard. I'm not excited about the keyboard. $200 laptop. Uh, it's not bad. I wouldn't want to use it full time, but then again, I'm a desktop user. I Even on my laptops, I use desktop keyboards, so I much prefer full-size keyboards. It's fine. It does not have a number pad, but it's a 14-inch laptop. Most of the 15.6-inch laptops have a separate numeric keypad. This does not, so it's just the straight keyboard. Function keys across the top, a function button here for the alternate. You've got uh, dedicated brightness controls, dedicated volume controls. You have a dedicated airplane button here. Hold down the function key and hit F12 to turn off the wireless if you're using it on an airplane. That way you can tell the flight attendant, uh, see, I've got my airplane button. And you've also got playback media controls for starting and stopping media, videos, that sort of thing. Otherwise, it looks very nice. There is a webcam, 
right up here on the top, which is nice as well. So for video conferencing, Skype, etc. I wouldn't suggest this laptop if you plan to stream your games. If you want to play League of Legends and you want to live stream your games on Twitch, I'd highly recommend a more powerful machine. But in theory, that will do it. Skype is really, video conferencing is really what that's meant for. Let me just briefly close this and show you the sides of it. On, now this is the front, on the right side of the laptop, which is right here, on your right side, there is only a USB 2.0 port. What would you use this for? Webcam, um, external keyboard, external mouse, or a wireless adapter if you have an external wireless keyboard or mouse you could certainly plug in the little nano adapters for example from Logitech into that port. Now there are two, there are two LED lights over here which lets you know uh, there's a power light and a hard drive activity light which is nice many machines don't have those these days so it's nice to see that there's both a power light they are labeled and a hard drive activity light so you can see what's going on. There is a Kensington lock here so if you have a laptop lock where it plugs into here and then you wrap it around something firm, a heavy piece of furniture, a cable or a pole or something, it does have that ability. On the left side of the laptop is where we have most of the ports. Your uh, AC power adapter port is going to be here in the back. Then you have a small vent. Um, there is a fan in here, but everything I've read says it's very, very quiet. There's a vent. Then we have our VGA port. Nice to have. What would you use the VGA port? Old school projectors, um, overhead projectors. Many schools and offices still have old projectors that use VGA, so it's nice to have in case you need it. Full-size RJ45 wired connection. Very, very nice. I've seen several laptops lately that don't have this. Then we have our HDMI port for connecting to a television or full-size monitor or a modern projector. And then we have two USB ports. The front one is a USB 2 port. The back one is a USB 3.0 super speed port. I'll talk about that in a second. And then we have our headphone jack right in the front if you want to plug in um, earbuds or headphones. Now, speaking of storage and the USB 3 port, you can buy USB thumb drives. Most USB thumb drives look like this. It sticks out, you plug it into your computer, and absolutely you can use this. It would stick in just like that and you can add storage just like that but honestly who wants to add storage like that especially if you're going to use it regularly well you can buy nano usb thumb drives 64 gigabytes for 15 dollars and it plugs in just like this and while it does stick out a little bit notice the difference it's not much and you can leave it in there permanently if you need more storage if you need to take more storage with you you can buy nano small USB thumb drives that you can insert and leave in permanently and they're very small and they should stay out of your way they're no bigger than the wireless adapters for an external wireless mouse or an external wireless keyboard so if you need more storage that's an option side note somebody is bound to ask can you upgrade the internal storage the 32 gigs or can you add an external an, an, an extra storage drive inside this machine yes but i don't recommend it there actually is a connection port inside to add a two and a half inch hard drive or solid state drive in this machine but there's no mounting bracket inside you would have to obtain the mounting bracket separately you would also have to take the laptop apart, which is not really meant to be done, but you can. If you want to add that kind of storage, if you want to do those kinds of upgrades, I would make the suggestion and argument that you should spend a little extra money and buy a little bit more computer. It's an option, but I don't recommend it, and I don't plan to do it because I think it's overkill for what this machine was designed for. Otherwise, there's no other ports on the back because that's where the battery is. The speakers are in the front. There's a pair of stereo speakers right here. So when it's sitting on the desk facing you, those speakers will project down and forward. Don't expect a lot out of the built-in speakers. Most laptops have pretty poor speakers. You usually have to spend a lot of money to get decent speakers. If you want to listen to music, if you want to have high quality sound, plug headphones in. Honestly, that's what I would suggest. So that is the HP Notebook 14-inch 
Windows 10 laptop computer for $200. That is a heck of a deal. Removable battery, worldwide warranty. Did I mention it was $200? That's a heck of a deal. All right. Next video is going to be first boot Windows update. Windows performance review will be coming after that. So like my video if you like it. Don't if you don't remember to subscribe to my channel with a big huge red button down there. Questions and comments go in the comment section below and check out my video description, the link to amazon.com where I bought this computer. And if you're interested in it, you should definitely go check it out down there. Also links to the full playlist of videos on this laptop will be down there as well. Windows uh, uh, first boot setup, Windows performance review, and a couple of game videos will all be down there. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.